Welcome to Rebel Squadron. The Empire is spreading terror across the galaxy, and we need your help to break its iron grip. It is time to bring the pain. Recruit. One more week to go, ayo, left in noob camp. You're so close, recruit, you can taste it. And then we have the Guild Events Store. Now in this case, you actually have two different types of tokens. You got your Mark 1 and your Mark 2. Now the Mark 1 are easier to get. Uh, it's more the mid to you know lower guild levels. Uh, they're, you're going to be easier to to clog, you know, end up collecting those. With the Mark II, that's your higher level stuff, guild events and whatnot. And it's gonna take a pretty strong, pretty powerful guild to be able to, to unlock that stuff. So that's where, you know, once again, that's where patience comes in. Teamwork as a guild, you help build each other up, build up your squads, give each other tips, advice, and, you know, ask questions. Because uh, the more you do that, the quicker your guild's gonna grow and the quicker you're going to get to this big stuff like malevolence the negotiator and you, know, you got your imperial droid darth malak malak general skywalker hermit yoda and wampa these are pretty big players in the game so and then you got your your gear and your more mundane like character and ship shards and now with gas and malak malak You've actually got to unlock them first before you can buy their shards in the guild store. So that's that takes a lot of work in and of itself. And then once you unlock them, then you have to continue buying their shards in order to get them to that max rank. That's just something to keep in mind, you know. And yeah, so now with the other the other guys, you know, Yoda and the Wampa, you can buy them at any time. With the droid, the Imperial Probe droid. That does require a more powerful guild, but you can get those shards without having to unlock anything, per se. So, alright, then let's move on to the Championship Store. Now with this, uh, these are the Grand Arena Championship Tokens. Uh, the more battles you win, the more tokens you get. And you can spend them on various types of gear that might be difficult to get otherwise. And then we'll move on to the shard store. This is, you know, fairly important store. Uh, once you get some max max rank characters, those extra shards are converted into shard tokens, and you can use those tokens to buy different types of gear, including the Mark II Pulse Modulator, which is the highest piece uh, component that you need for uh, slicing your mods. And it's a good place to get general Grievous shards. So you definitely want to make Grievous a priority at some point. Because he's he's a pretty high high tier character. Uh, not quite as meta as he used to be. Uh, but he's still a really good character to get. Especially once you get, you get him up to those high higher gear levels and relic levels. Uh, the first few rules of gear are seem to be more of a gear 13 situation. And then the bottom few seem to be more around like gear 11, gear 12, or lower. So it, it does seem to be split up into those two different areas. Uh, just something to uh, just something to keep in mind. And that's all on the store options. So last but not least, we do have our objectives. Now I've already done mine for the days, but if you go into your game, you can see for yourself. Uh, the different types of dailies you do want to do these because they're good for small amounts of like crystals that add up over time uh, you can get bonus energies you can see here 
uh, throughout the day it'll, it'll give you that so it gives you an opportunity to you know do more with each of the campaigns and whatnot uh, you get gear credits tokens uh, in some instances you can get character shards and yeah it's just something you, you want to keep that rolling as much as you can from day to day and then you also want to pay attention to guild activities so in this case if you spend energy or cantina energy uh, you get raid tickets which were put towards your the guild raids you need a certain number of tickets in order to launch a raid each person is limited to 600 per day so it's a it's very much a team you know team team goal uh, your entire the more active your guild is the more the quicker you'll you'll rack up those tickets and the more often you can run those raids so you want to you know if you if you're really into the game and you really want to get those the raid rewards and those character shards and whatnot uh, you definitely want to make sure you're, you're keeping up on this because if everybody's working together you can keep you can keep that raid cycle going you know fast and smooth and then over here you have your quest objectives now um, primarily it's, it's more of a prestige thing you get a lot of titles portraits but you do get some crystals and credits and gear and whatnot so it just depends on what you want to go for and it's not really a requirement but you know it's just something uh something if you if you're looking for something to do it's it gives you something to focus on and a lot of these quests actually come from your prestigious quest well a few of them at least you have your different prestigious quests which primarily give you uh rare titles so you know if, if you're interested in a specific title this is where you're going to want to pick that you know to get that ball rolling and then we have the achievements tag uh, as you can see there's several many many achievements you can uh acquire and that's you know take your you know whenever you feel like it just look through them see what's available you'll you'll hit a bunch of them automatically as you're leveling up and then once you get to the especially at the end game uh yeah it slows down quite a bit so if if you're bored and need something to do just take a look at those achievements and you know go about uh completing them i mean you do get stuff like crystal shards and tokens and credits and character shards so uh, there's some decent stuff in there i'd, I'd say it's, you know a lot of them are worth getting and then last but not least we have our journey guide uh this is where this lists all the legendary characters including the two galactic legends kylo and ray now i'm not gonna lie to you here as far as i'm concerned uh galactic legends ray i'm never gonna get her there's been a lot of controversy over these galactic legends and the biggest thing being that it requires such a huge amount of resources to get these characters to the minimum level and a lot of them you don't even use the probably the most controversial one is rose tico uh you are required to get her to seven stars gear level 13 relic tier seven <laughs> and uh most people will agree that she's one of the most useless characters in the game uh like i said there's been a lot of controversy over this so yeah she, she's just never going to be part of my my uh character inventory my roster uh kyle galactic legends kylo ren it's a possibility maybe someday in the very distant future you need uh all these first order characters and they are actually useful for the most part so it wouldn't be a huge waste or anything to try and get those up uh so you know maybe someday maybe i'm not a whale um I used to be free to play for a long time and then I started spending a little bit of money here and there. So I guess you could say I'm more of a trout or a dolphin. And uh, so <laughs> since I doubt I'm ever going to be a whale, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long time on, on, on that guy. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've maxed out several of the characters and ships in the journey guide. Journey guide. Uh, I still have a few of them that I'm working on. And a cut, there's a few of them that's going to be a very long time. Like these guys on the end, Darth Treya, Kiati Mundi, Wat Tambor. They're they're high level guild characters. Uh, you need a high level guild to do the, those guild events and earn those shards. 
Uh, but a lot of the most of these you can do by yourself. So that's that's the nice thing about them. It's just you have to figure out which one's going to focus on and build up the requirements and then you can bag them and tag them. So let's take a look at one. Let's say Darth Revan. I've actually got Jedi Knight Revan, so he's next. He's he's up there on the list. And yeah, I've got several characters that I still need to get up to seven stars. So yeah, it is gonna be <laughs> it is gonna be a while. Um, definitely definitely a grind here, but he's a very good character. Very he's got some good stuff going on. Uh, it's definitely somebody they want to think about. Now, once you get Darth Revan unlocked, along with Jedi Knight Revan, you need both of those in order to unlock Darth Malak, for example. And these guides are great because they give you a a uh, blueprint on how to move forward with your squad development. So if there are certain characters that you really want to get, like say Darth Malak, it shows you you need your you need your Jedi Knight Revan, you need your Darth Revan and all these other characters so that gives you something to really focus on if you're having trouble if you're floundering take a look at the character the journey guide and take a look at these characters see which ones you really want to get first and that will give you a really good direction to move forward with so uh, this journey guide is kind of new i think it's within the last year they put it out and it's been it's been really great it's one of the, one of the better things that the cg has come up with so and yeah just so you know um i do plan on doing some uh, journey guide videos so make sure you keep an eye out for those and remember if you're subscribed you'll have a better chance of catching those videos when they first come out N nudge nudge wink wink <laughs> congratulations recruit you've successfully completed noob camp so take these basic skills and use them to build up your squads and take the fight to the enemy. So, hopefully you're better prepared to go out into the galaxy. And remember, first and foremost, make sure you're having fun. So, thank you for watching these videos. I hope you enjoyed yourself and learned a thing or two. I'll see you in the cantina, recruit. This is Rebel Squadron out. Recruit dismissed for graduation ceremony.